came here to work out. That's where he should be when he goes to the gym. Said all that you should see me work out lately. I meander through absurd exercises some barely clothed models invented to teach me the ways of his body. Then I lay on the carpet, ceiling clouded by sweat, video still rolling, listening to this much stronger man continue to harass me to strive for greatness. I'll touch a stranger again, I'm told. I can see one outside, smoking in front of the hotel that doubles as a shelter. Looking at him is already like peering into the black and white photographs of war museums. Faces you have to remind yourself, filled with the same hopes and dreams and fears as you. Though the very act of having to force yourself to remember these similarities proves you don't know it. Everyone works without pants now, because there's no way to get caught. Our care for ourselves is the product of our responsibility to others. Our care for them circling back to their care for us, like a Russian doll open to reveal the first mother. If missing people is the titular loneliness, this is its essence. The worry, once the doors to the world open again, some of my friends will be gone, not from the earth, but from my life. The living through screens will have stripped me of the pedagogy only bodies provide.